according to information released by China National Offshore Oil Corporation on March 1, China's Bohai Sea once again discovered a large oil field. According to investigations, the oil geological reserves of this oil field exceed 130 million tons of oil equivalent, the recoverable crude oil exceeds 20 million tons, and the natural gas exceeds 9 billion cubic meters. It can be used by 10,000 vehicles for 30 years and the population of Tianjin for 15 years. Isn't oil a non-renewable resource, isn't the oil reserves on the earth only enough for human beings for another 20 years? Why is there more and more oil now? Since the birth of the modern oil industry in 1859, oil has become the blood of industry and has become the most important energy source in the world. The United States has tied the US dollar to oil to establish its hegemony. During nearly a hundred years of industrialization, petroleum experts have found that petroleum resources are gradually depleting. In 1949, the famous American petroleum scientist Hubbard discovered that oil follows a bell-shaped law. This law is that all non-renewable resources, the output will reach the highest point first, and then will decrease rapidly. According to his forecast, oil production will peak in the 1960s and 1970s, and then decline until it is completely exhausted. At the beginning, global oil production really did as Hubbard predicted. Around the 1970s, oil production really declined after reaching its peak. So many media began to promote the theory, making the idea that oil will run out in the future is deeply rooted in people's minds. However, according to the oil production in recent years, not only did oil production not peak in the 1970s, but instead reached new highs every year. And with the advancement of human science, people have discovered that oil production is actually increasing, and in the 10 years from 2008 to 2018, the international crude oil price has dropped by half. What is going on? Is the oil depletion theory really a hoax? Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. In fact, we can't say that Hubbard is talking nonsense, because according to the statistics of the World Energy Conference at the time, the world's proven recoverable coal reserves totaled 1,598 billion tons, and it is expected to be mined for 200 years. Among them, the proven oil reserves that can be exploited are only 121.1 billion tons, which are expected to be exploited for only 30 to 40 years. At the same time, the oil is also likely to be a non-renewable resource. First of all, it should be emphasized that the formation of oil in the earth has gone through hundreds of millions of years. Scientists have no chance to practice and explore, so the reasons for the formation of oil are all inferences. These inferences fall into two main schools. Most scientists insist that oil is deposited by ancient organisms, formed after at least two million years of geological changes, high temperature and pressure and microbial action, and even some ancient oil fields have existed for 500 million years. But the rate of human consumption of oil obviously far exceeds the rate of its formation, so it is natural to worry about oil depletion. There are also some scientists who believe that oil is not formed by the deposition of the remains of living things. It only needs enough hydrocarbons to produce oil, and there are many such hydrocarbons on the earth. But in fact, according to this theory, it is possible to form oil anywhere on the earth, and there will be no rich oil reserves in only some areas as it is now. Therefore, from the existing research and reasoning of scientists, it makes sense that non-renewable oil resources will be depleted in the near future. So, why is oil being used more and more now? This has to mention a key technology that is, the shale oil extraction technology that has been paid attention to since 1953. What exactly is shale oil, and why can it change the oil depletion situation? Most of the oil that people exploited in the past was the crude oil that the earth has already made, and it can be used directly without much processing. But there is also a shale oil on the earth, 
which is equivalent to half of the oil produced by the earth factory. In the past, people thought that shale oil was of low quality and had no value for exploitation. But with the advent of shale oil technology, people can extract kerogen from shale layers and crack them into synthetic crude oil. The properties of this synthetic crude oil and naturally occurring crude oil are almost identical, thus greatly increasing the reserves of oil available to mankind. Do you still remember that we have said before that crude oil is only enough for 30 to 40 years? But according to statistics, the world's shale oil reserves are about 11 trillion to 13 trillion tons, which is 100 times more than the oil reserves and is expected to be available for human use for 3,000 to 4,000 years, and there are new shale oil deposits being explored every year. This is the reason why there is more and more oil now. Then, why is the price of oil still rising? First of all, shale oil is the petroleum resource contained in shale strata. Most of them are stored in the pores and cracks of mud shale. The difficulty of exploitation is greater than that of crude oil fields. For example, shale oil in the United States is mainly distributed in the Permian Basin. West Gulf Basin and Williston Basin, which are about 1,000 meters away from the surface. China's shale oil is more difficult to extract, and it is mainly located under the mountains, more than 3,000 meters above the surface. In terms of the quality, the crude oil developed by shale oil technology is not naturally formed, and needs to be obtained through cracking and synthesis. So this step requires more technology, machinery and labor costs, which causes the price of oil to rise again. Moreover, even if synthetic crude oil is obtained using this technology, its quality is not necessarily higher than that of crude oil in Middle Eastern oil fields. The main reason why the world's major oil-producing countries can rely on the oil industry to achieve prosperity is mainly because they not only have high oil production, but also high oil quality and very low development costs. Saudi Arabia, a typical example, its costs almost less than $10 per barrel of crude oil, while China has to spend up to a high cost of $50. So sometimes it may not be cheaper for China to extract and refine its own shale oil than to import it from abroad. Therefore, when we always say that oil resources are depleted, it does not mean that oil is really used up, but that cheap oil is becoming less and less. Some people have speculated that oil depletion and shale oil are both conspiracies in the U.S. oil war. The reason why the United States said oil depletion was mainly to raise oil prices. Because oil is settled in dollars, raising the price of oil will further boost the dollar status. So, why did the United States develop shale oil technology later? Some people say that this is because Americans have discovered that under the panic of oil depletion, countries have begun to develop new forms of energy in an attempt to break away from dependence on oil. Just as humans ended the Stone Age not by running out of stones, but by learning to smelt bronze. If such a technology can really be found, then oil may also become useless stones in the future. In fact, no matter whether the oil is about to run out, or whether these assertions are a conspiracy of the United States, technological innovation will always be the driving force for the development of human society. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.